Electric skateboards are awesome because they're portable. Unfortunately, because of the battery, they're quite hefty. This is a boosted board. It weighs about 15 pounds. Once it's out of charge, it won't be pleasant hauling this thing around with you all day. A company called Deckhook claims to have a solution for this, but I don't personally think that it's a good solution, not for boosted boards anyway. Here is a Deckhook review from a boosted board rider's perspective. First of all, I have to disclose that I can only really test a deck hook with a boosted board. I also have a penny board, but it doesn't really fit. Additionally, this is the only two strap backpack that I have. Swiss gear is quite a common brand and it's really popular where I live anyway. So I think it's a pretty good bag to test this product with. Installing the deck hook is really quite simple. There are these magnetic snaps that kind of just snap into place and you wrap these around the straps of your bag. Taking the deck hook off your board is just as simple. You just push these downwards and they fall right out of place. Now, let's talk about actual use. At first, the deck hook is a seemingly well-built product and I'm sure it actually is, but I have barely even tested this product. I haven't even left the house with it and it already snapped apart. It can't handle the weight of a boosted board. This is outright false advertising. On the website, there's a picture of the deck hook being used with a boosted board. However, when it did work for the brief period amount of time that it did, the booster board ended up being turned into a pendulum, a heavy pendulum. The board would swing and clash with the back of your legs or on your butt, depending on your height. It also crushes the contents of your bag. Not very ideal. The wall hook is clever and seems pretty well built. You just kind of slide it on and it stays there. But there's a little bit of wiggle room here. Actually, you can rotate the entire thing. I didn't actually end up testing this or installing it in my house because I already have a mount of my own and it was just a cheap guitar hook, which in my opinion, secures my board even better than the deck hook could. The price for this product comes down to $25 in US. However, I was a super early bird backer and they charged me $25 for shipping here to Canada. That's a two times increase on the price. The later backers didn't have to pay as much. So here's the verdict. If you ride an electric skateboard that's fairly heavy, don't buy this product. I think it might work quite well actually with a regular skateboard and a regular longboard, but it's not built for electric skateboards. The design itself just fundamentally doesn't work with the dimensions of something like a boosted board. To all you boosted board riders out there, I would pass on this product. Get the official boosted board backpack instead. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Maybe if I put both straps on at once. Okay, that works, except walking around. Um, like, look at how it swings as I walk out this door. It's even hitting my legs and everything. Ah, uh, disappointing.